Hi, welcome to Purchasio. I am Alina and today I will show you how you can use get file data action in a process. This enables you to pull in data from an Excel or CSV file and map it to a process variable. This will allow you to use data coming from external files in process flows. Our process will have one step, getting data from an external file into Procesio. In the next videos, you'll get to see how you can use this data further in processing. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created an Excel file with dummy data that we will be uploading in our process. Therefore, I can proceed straight to the process designer, which is where we can see old processes and create new ones. I'll click on the Create New button. I'll change the process name. Now I'm adding a get file data action and I will connect it to the start and stop actions in order to have a valid process flow. As our process will carry dynamic data, we need to define some process variables that will be used in the action configuration. However, for the get file data action, in order to capture the data in the exact structure as our external file, we need to create first a custom data type that will be used as a data type for our process variable. To do this, I'll go to the data model designer page. I will create here a data model with four attributes that will be later on mapped to the columns in our file. Checking our file, we can notice that we need to have four attributes that will capture the four columns. Let's create a data model named Team Details. And let's add the four corresponding attributes. First will be employee name. And the type will be string. Next, we have employee email. The type will be also a string. Next, we have months in company. Which will be an integer. And lastly, we have manager email, which is also a string. Okay, now we're ready to go back to our process and create the variables that I was mentioning you about. We'll click here to open the process variables section and we will start adding our process variables. First, we need to create a file type process variable. I will name this my file. This will be the process variable that would fetch the file details when kicking off the process flow. I will also mark it as input, meaning that we need this file as an input of our process in order to kick off the process. Next, I'll define the team details process variable. This will be a custom data type 
that we created earlier, the team detail data model. I will also mark it as a list because our file has more than one entry and also I will mark it as an output because at the end of our process we want to see how the data looks like. Okay, I believe at this point I have everything I need for our process. I will now go to configure the get file data action. Click on the card. Here I'll select the file type variable that will be the input of our process. Next, select the process variable that has the data model type. This variable will be capturing the data from the file and will allow you to use it further in the process. Okay. Next, I'll start building the structure of the file by pressing add column. In the column name, I'll add the exact name of the corresponding column in the file that will be processed. In map data, I will add the attribute that will be mapped to the column. I'll do the same for all the other three columns. This completes the configuration of our get file data action. I will now save my process. I'll validate it. Now I can run it. As you can see, you need to fill in the input variables in order to run. The input variable in our case is our file. I'll hit run. The process completed. Now we can check the instances. As you can see, everything was executed successfully. And also, we have here the output of our process. The output will be a JSON file that has data from our Excel. This can be easily used further in configuration of our other actions. This is it for the demo today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.